Hello everyone and welcome back to the 100 Baby Challenge where Jane and Hazel have finally become toddlers and we can start working on Bridget's aspiration over here. Our first job is to read to a child for two hours um, and to do that we actually need toddler books. So that is our first, uh, that was completely the wrong thing to press, that is our first uh, task of the day is get some toddler books. Right, let's have a look. Dog on a log seems appropriate since we have a dog at the moment. Driving to Mars, sure. Uh, monkey brown on the monkey bars. When is winter? Sure, let's buy those four. And then can we just click these guys to read to them? It's been kind of a long time since I've played with toddlers, so. Read toddler book, awesome, let's do that. I mean, Bridget is really hungry, but we'll do this now anyway. I do really like this uh, little area, this play area that I made and the different um, different chairs and everything. I think it looks really nice. Right, let's read to Hazel. I actually had to check what her name was because I've already forgotten. Was that it? Really? We, we need to read her for two hours. That was not two hours. Oh, okay. We're going to read it again, apparently. Jane is just hanging out over by the castle. It's lovely. She's loving it, apparently. So now the question is, where is uh, Rainbow? Ah, oh, there she is. Just, just hanging out over here. Let's see if Jane... Oh yeah, Jane is already imitating Rainbow, apparently. <laughs> Let's see what she does. <laughs> yeah, that's a cat, Jane. Rainbow's a dog. There you go. That's better. Oh, Rainbow looks really sad about it. Let's give her a pet. The whole family in the kitchen while Bridget makes food. Lovely. Did you just make food for yourself, Bridget? Really? You have two kids now. You need to make food for them too. Seriously. Let's serve some lunch, some BLT. Stop eating. These guys need food at some point as well. This really is adorable though. <laughs> Just gathering around the dog. <sighs> oh. Mm. Cute. I mean, who needs a babysitter when you have a dog, really? How did the reading go, Bridget? Did you get it done? No. Of course not. After you've done this, you need to pee, and then you can go back to eating that food that you were made for yourself. Come on, get it done. It's just a sandwich. There you go. Uh, I'll go and put this on, I guess, the table over here, and then they can just grab food if they want it. Hazel went and grabbed the iPad instead, but that's fine. Jane, you can go grab a serving of the food. Oh, I love Rainbow being in here in the kids' room. That is adorable. We don't really have room for a, a dog bed in here, which is kind of sad. But that's fine. I also don't think Rainbow can sleep in those little kid chairs because she's too big for them. I'm actually going to make Hazel uh, eat some as well. I know they're not really hungry yet, but we have the food, so we might as well. I'm also going to put that back up there because Hazel didn't. Okay, are you done? Oh, you're gonna come and eat with your kids. How lovely. Let's watch the kids' channel as well. Yes. Are you guys watching the TV? Watch. Oh, you're peeing your pants. Lovely. And after we've done this, Bridget needs a nap. But I would really like it if we could get some of your aspiration stuff up. Can we maybe just talk or something? Jane is just looking at the, this thing that she can't use until she's a kid. Good. I guess we don't have that many toddler toys, really, apart from this. You go play with the toy. And, oh, we got the socializing done. That's good. Uh, then Bridget can go upstairs and have a nap while I look after the toddlers. And then we need to read to them at some point as well. You can see her imagining things. That's quite cute. I like that. Hazel's still watching the TV. Lovely. I think this is going well. How are we at for um, trimestering? Third trimester, we're giving birth in question marks. So me saying that this is going well is kind of, 
yeah, I'm scared about the next pregnancy, to say the least. Are you coming to sleep with us, or are you gonna go look after the babies? I feel like she's gonna go look after the babies. Oh, Marcus is here. Hello, Marcus. Um, we're kind of sleeping, so please go away. I mean, I get it. These are your kids and everything. I mean, no, 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 wait. I was gonna let you in. Wait, 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 wait. Pause. Um, invite to stay the night, I guess we could. No, are you just gonna leave? Let's see if we able, are able to catch him. I think he's just gonna leave. Oh no, he stopped there. Nice. Hello, Marcus. We're about to give birth. Oh, no, he left. Let's call him up because we're about to give birth. So I wouldn't actually mind having him here to take care of the kids. Uh, let's uh, check toddler and then read a toddler book. I mean, she is going to die eventually <laughs> from being sleep deprived, but you know. And then ask to let him in. Let you in. Oh, you already came inside. Okay. Then let's read that toddler book. Marcus just does not want to hang out with us or take care of the kids at all. Which is good. I guess that means we know what kind of a father he's going to be. Leaving us all alone. Yeah, this is not going to work. Jane is not gonna or hazel actually is not gonna get her book read to her just yet we need to sleep terribly okay these guys are getting sleepy so i'm just gonna yeah send them to bed because yeah you're angry because you're sleepy and you're just sleepy that can be your bed you guys go have a nap as well off you go into bed let's hope they sleep oh speaking of sleeping actually i don't have their um I don't have these lamps that you need to make sure they don't have nightmares. One of these here for Hazel. One of these ones for Jane. And we can just about afford another one for the lost toddler bedroom. There. <laughs> we really need to earn some money soon. Everyone's asleep. Even rainbow we're getting a call no go away marcus we don't like you okay let's see bridget has a little bit of time to herself before everyone wakes up let's sell that to a collector so that we get our money then if we go downstairs i can keep an eye on the toddlers while you take a brisk shower and then you can have oops you can have a nap on the sofa while we wait for the kids to wake up Actually, you can probably have a nap in here. <laughs> well, sofa's fine. 12 a.m. They are up. Sorry, Bridget, you won't be getting that nap. Check toddler. Why are you sad, my friend? She had a nightmare. Let's read her to sleep. And apparently we're swapping beds for some reason reader to sleep and then I guess you can just go back to your own bed actually. I hope this reading counts as uh, as reading to your toddler. Oh it's a child? Does that mean it has to be a children's book and not a toddler? Because that would be weird. But I guess a toddler book doesn't count because I feel like we have read to them for two hours now. Uh, let's have a look at the reward store. We only have 750 points, so we need 3,000, I think, for the, um, yeah, for the fertile trait, we need 3,000. But if we have a look at the other aspirations, we could do some of these ones just to get the points. Because we're painting anyway, so we might as well. Come on, Bridget, go have some food. I like how she's just woken up from sleeping and she's already tired. She's clearly in her third trimester. She'll probably give birth today, actually. I don't really know who we want the next father to be either. Um, Brendan was kind of difficult because he is already in a relationship with someone else. Uh, so is Brant. 
So I guess this guy, Shingo, interesting name. Yeah, okay, you're done with that, awesome. Go up and paint. We need to start three paintings while we're inspired, which we won't really get to do right away because she's not feeling inspired right now, but soon. Hopefully if we just keep painting, she'll get inspired. What we can also do as well is we already have two bassinets. Um, I think this is a perfectly fine place to have them actually. Um, hopefully we won't have more than twins. If we have triplets right now, that will be a lot. <laughs> oh, Hazel is up and sad because she is dirty, which makes sense. Let us give her a bubble bath. And then also get some of the food we made yesterday out of the fridge so that they can eat. Yeah, they're both getting quite smelly. So let's wash Hazel first and then uh, wash Jane when she wakes up as well. It's actually very good that Jane is still sleeping because she'll wake up feeling horrible. And then you need to take a nap or something. Nope, you won't have time to take a nap. You need to immediately give Jane a bubble bath as well. She will die. Or, I mean, she will fall asleep, but hopefully she just has time to do the bubble bath before she falls asleep. It looks like she will be able to do the bubble bath. Awesome. Hazel is eating, which is exactly what I wanted her to do. And she is all in the green. Awesome. And Bridget did not have time to do the bubble bath before she fell asleep, apparently. Okay. Jane, you're just going to have to grab a serving. Your mom is kind of dying. <laughs> Perfect for the thumbnail. And she's up. Okay, good. Let's go down. You need a nap. Just go to bed there. Sleep there for a little bit while Jane eats. And then once she's finished eating, you can give her a bubble bath. Here, Bridget. Up you get. That is as much time as you will get. Give Jane a bubble bath. Oh! Bridget has gone into labor. Where is she going? You're going to make food. No, I mean, if you're in labor and you want to do something, maybe you should give your child a fucking bubble bath. I've only asked you to do it like five times. Come on, Jane. Let's give you a bubble bath while your mother is in labor. It'll be fine, I promise. And finally, Jane has gotten a bubble bath. Very nice. Okay, let's go upstairs. Uh, no, actually, let's have a quick meal. Um, so if you haven't played The Sims 4 yourself, um, women can actually be in labor for quite a while before they eventually go and have the baby themselves when they need to. So we're just gonna let Bridget do whatever she needs to do until she uh, wants to give her birth herself this time. Because the fact that she only has very brief moments to get herself up in the green means that we need to grab those moments. And right now, we do not have time to give birth. <laughs> we should actually also call Roger. See if he wants to come over and take care of the babies for a little bit while we give birth. Roger will be right over. Perfect. No, we're not going to put her in the high chair. Why would we want to do that? Hello, Roger. Please uh, come and play with our kids. They need attention. And we're struggling with the whole birth thing. <laughs> Clearly. Oh, yes, Roger. We are indeed having a baby. Your baby, in fact. I feel like Bridget is gonna collapse before she gets into bed. Uh, but I would really like it if she got to sleep a little bit before the baby comes. Nope, she's just gonna collapse. Uh, Roger, Hazel is feeling sad because something about a dollhouse. Uh, they don't talk. If you don't do what you tell them, if you spend another moment with them, I'm just gonna ball. What? She's sad about playing with the dollhouse. Very confused. Either way, Roger. We need you to... Oh, she's gonna have the baby. Here we go. What the hell is happening on the floor? Terrifying. 
Oh, she's gonna have two babies. I have a feeling. It's a girl. Lovely. The next name on my um, name suggestion list is Alice. Alice Taylor. And it's another girl. And she will be called Rose. Jesus Christ. We haven't had any boys yet. That is insane. Okay. Bridget, you really need to sleep now. Please just go to bed. Oh. No, you're crying. Just breastfeed her. And go to bed. We desperately need sleep. Hazel can now hug and hit others. She can hit others. That's not good. But whatever. I'm gonna ignore it. I feel like inviting Roger over was completely useless. Maybe he'll take care of the babies since they're his babies as well, but we'll see. He's just gonna cuddle with the dog, which, fair enough, I would do the same thing if I was him, so. Okay, uh, Jane is gonna go sleep for a little bit. No, Bridget is gonna go sleep for a little bit. Thought I had that under control by now, but I don't, apparently. Okay, she's sleeping. I'm gonna invite a maid over at some point. Um, see if we can get a maid in um, more often so that we don't have to do all of the cleaning up ourselves. Um, kids seem to be doing okay. Oh God. Jane. I, I mean, yeah, when mum's asleep, you can do whatever you want, I guess. This is kind of scary, <laughs> but Bridget needs to sleep. I can't wake her up to lecture them right now. But I do feel like they're plotting against me. Rose is very hungry. Is she? I guess she would be. Up you get. Bridget, I'm sorry. Up you get, use the toilet and go to bed. Is Roger still here? Yes. Ah, yes, he's finally taking care of the babies a little bit. Lovely. I'm quite interested to see what happens when we get um, Bridget the fertile trait because we're already getting twins just because of our lot trait. So what's gonna happen when we also then have the fertile trait? Uh, definitely triplets is gonna happen at some point. Uh, they're getting a little bit hungry. How many more of these do we have? We have three of these left. Okay, that should be fine. Grab a serving of that. You getting hungry as well? Not very. You could go and have a bed. Have a bed. You could go and sleep though. Bedtime story. If I ask her to do that, who will she ask? No one. Okay, just go to bed then. Thought maybe she would ask Roger, but I guess they're not friends enough yet. What are you doing? Ask for food? No, there's literally food here. Oh, no, that's spoiled. Okay, uh, how about you ask Roger for some food? Talk to stranger. Yes, and the dog has not gotten any food. This is going terribly, isn't it? I really just need another adult, because right now Bridget has to do everything. Can't wait until Hazel and Jane are kids. Sorry, Bridget, you have to get up now. Uh, this needs to be scheduled for every six hours, apparently, because Rainbow is getting hungry. Oh! Marcus is here. Let's uh, invite him in so that maybe he can take care of the babies. And let's serve some dinner. Something quick, garden salad. Oh, as one baby daddy leaves, another arrives. Really is like Jane the Virgin. Go make food for you and Jane. And Hazel's getting hungry as well. Yes, Marcus, you indeed do have babies now. And there are more babies upstairs. <laughs> But they're not yours, so don't worry about it. Congratulations on the new addition to the family. Thank you, Roger. It's your family too. Oh yes, we're gonna call a maid. Let's have a see. No, not travel. That is not what I want. Oops. Hire a service. Come on, Bridget. I need you to hurry up. Scheduled maid. Let's just make sure that we can actually afford it every day. Ah, oh, Marcus and Jane are getting to know each other. That's beautiful. There's a baby crying upstairs. We need to change that dirty diaper. Yeah, Roger, I can't go to parties. I'm taking care of your kids. Oh, good job, Bridget. Come on, hurry up. The kids are starving. Jane, you really need this food, so go eat. 
Hazel, you need food. Rose is crying for some reason. She's probably hungry, so we'll breastfeed her after this, and then Bridget really needs to sleep again. Yes, Marcus, I know it's things in here. You know what you could do about that? You could clean up. Is Marcus leaving? No, he's going upstairs to take care of the baby. Oh my god! I love you. Is that all it needed? Oh, Marcus, you are a lifesaver. Thank you. Thank you so much. When Bridget wakes up, she can go to sleep. Uh, yeah, once again, she's on the floor. At least Marcus helped out a little bit compared to freaking whatever his name is. Uh, you're sad. Why are you sad? You want food. You've literally just eaten. How about you go to bed instead? And I know she needs to pee, but I do not have time to teach her to potty, so she's just gonna have to pee in her diaper. Oh, I can hear a baby crying. Help you get, Bridget. Time to breastfeed. And then go back to bed. Oh no, Marcus is taking care of it. You know, sometimes... I really like you, Marcus. He should really get going now. Thanks for the help, Marcus. It was actually really nice. We should invite you over more times. Okay, let's go fill Rainbow's bowl, just so that we make sure she doesn't starve to death. There you go. And back to bed, Bridget. We really need to get that sleep up. Oh, actually, before you go to bed, hang on, hang on, hang on. There's a baby crying for reasons unknown. Breastfeeder. Yeah, I know you're tired, but let's hurry up and get the babies to sleep so that we can sleep. <laughs> it's like desperately trying trying to catch sleep at all times. This poor woman. Yeah, there there is another baby crying. Let's breastfeed her. Up we get. Breastfeed. God, babies are hard. Nice. And back to bed. Also, we need to get Bridget pregnant again. Oh, now they're both crying. Holy shit. Change both of their dirty diapers. <laughs> and then go back to bed. <laughs> Every time I speed up time. Jesus Christ. Okay, a little bit more sleep before we have to get up. Oh, and they're crying again. Let's rock them. Make a silly face. Rock. Make a silly face. And breastfeed both of them as well. I will make sure Bridget gets a little bit more sleep though. Up we get. What's the problem for Hazel? She is sad because she stinks, which makes sense. Oh, goodness me. This episode feels completely manic. But I guess that's what this series is supposed to be. <laughs> yeah, after you've eaten, you need to um, give Hazel a bath. I'm just going to give her a normal bath for now. I think bubble baths take longer, and then you can pee after that. And then we need to do the same thing with Jane when she wakes up, but I'm going to allow her to sleep for as long as humanly possible. And I think our maid is about to arrive as well. Today's mail has been delivered. We owe a shit ton of money for power, which I completely forgot was a thing that we need to pay for this massive house. So that'll be good. Let's start by uh, selling all the shit that Bridget has here. Speaking of all the shit that Bridget has here, we oops, we need to um, check on the plants as well. Yeah, the plants are not doing so hot. Jane's up. She's very angry, which I can see why. She needs to eat immediately. Don't go ask her for food. There's food right there. And there's our maid. Lovely. Hello. Please clean up everything. Except for... The salad because I'll need that. While you have a bit of time Bridget we need to... why can't we weed? She's too uncomfortable. Why? Is she hungry? No, just go here. You'll feel better out of these surroundings. Okay, let's weed and water everything and then we need to sell this stuff. I don't feel like we have time to make snapdragons just yet. Also we don't have the um, gardening skill to do that either. Oh yes, I completely forgot that we have two more babies up here. 
change dirty diaper on those too when we have the time and we need to give Jane a bubble bath <laughs> Oh my god. What we really should do is just hire a professional gardener. Okay, stop doing that. Let's hire a professional gardener because I feel like if we just are careful, we'll, we can afford it. Rainbow is sleeping. What is Jane doing? Jane is just crying, which is fair enough. Where did the maid go? She's still cleaning up stuff or has she left? Looks like I'm all done here. Uh, excuse me. No, you were not done, like, at all. Bridget is already exhausted. I feel like we're not gonna get Bridget pregnant again in this episode. We're just more than busy enough trying to keep these babies alive. Bridget, if you could invite Marcus over again as well. He was a huge help. We could also invite Roger over as well. See if he wants to do some more helping. Right, we need scheduled gardening service, please. Okay, they're both here. Awesome, come on in guys. You don't have to knock. I feel like Roger's just panicking about the fact that he has babies. You need to help take care of them, man. You're the father. Let's uh, sell all. Sell all. Come on, Bridget. While you, we have the time. You can go to bed over here. It's almost Alice and Rose's birthday, which is lovely. Okay, so we may need to sell some stuff to afford... Uh, are paying our bills. 4,320. It's like twice as much as we have now. More than. I'll admit that I fucked up in the in the money department. I was not really thinking about money at all. Or actually I was thinking about money, I just wasn't thinking about the bills that we have to pay. Marcus and Roger are getting along it seems. Can someone go upstairs and take care of the crying baby? while Bridget is sleeping? No? I guess not. Why is Jane so angry? Because she's having a tantrum. I mean, she's also hungry. So that makes sense. Jane, grab a serving of that. Marcus is leaving, which is not, not great news for us. Come on, Hazel, go eat. You're hungry. And Roger's leaving as well. Brilliant. After you guys have eaten, you can just Go to bed, because you're independent. You can just do that yourselves. Well then guys, as Jane here makes some food for herself and potentially some toddlers when they wake up in the messiest kitchen I have ever seen, I am gonna end the episode here. Uh, next episode, we're gonna have to try and make Bridget pregnant again, since we didn't get the time to do that this episode. But yeah, I'll see you all in the next one.